Hey, this is Lady C. Welcome to my studio. Now, in the upcoming tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find a KDP template on Amazon, download it, save it to your hard drive, so you can begin editing your book. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. This template is going to be for a paperback or hardcover book. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in how to find a KDP book publishing template. And notice it's already showing up in my list here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Just click on that little link there that says paperback and hardcover manuscript templates. The next thing you're going to do is choose a template. So come down here and click choose a template. And then you're going to choose the second download option. And this is going to be the one that provides you with the sample content. So go ahead and choose download. The system is going to download this in a zipped file. And the zipped file is located on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. So we're going to come here and click on that. Now, what the system does is it actually extracts the file from the zip drive and it places it in the downloads folder. So on the left-hand side, you'll see downloads. And then over here on the right-hand side, you'll see paperback manuscript templates. You'll also see the breadcrumb at the top on the URL here, which shows this PC downloads and paperback manuscript templates, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up, this, this folder, and I'm gonna just double click to open it. And what you're gonna notice, it has all of the various uh, languages associated with the template that you can use from these different languages. And the one that I'll be working with is English. So I'm just going to just um, right click on English and choose copy. So I'm going to copy this folder to a new location. And I, what I want to do is go over to the documents bin and click on documents. And then I'm going to come here in this window and I'm going to go to the top left hand side of the screen and choose new folder. Then I'm going to type book publishing. So all I'm doing is showing you that you might want to go ahead and create a folder called book publishing to make sure that you know where to get this file later on. And you may already have a structure set up. If you do, go ahead and put your stuff there. Now to lock the new name of the file in, I'm going to hit the enter key. And I can hit the enter key one more time since the folder is already selected. And what it will do is it will open up the folder. Now, there's nothing in the folder. So now I'm just going to simply right click in the folder. And of course, I'm using Windows 11. So instead of the paste button being right available, you got to choose show more options. And once I get there, I can now choose paste. So now it pastes the folder in the window in this folder. So now you're gonna look at the breadcrumb and you're gonna see this PC, documents, book publishing, and when I double click on the English folder, it's gonna add itself to that breadcrumb at the top and it's gonna open up and it's gonna show you all of the different types of book formats that you can choose from. So there's a lot of them in here. And they recommend that you use the same book size as your genre. So let's just say your book, your genre uses six by nine inches, then you would just use that, okay? But what we're gonna do, I don't wanna use the original template because if I wanna go back and write another book using that same template, I don't wanna have messed it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the six by nine inch document format, Microsoft Word document, and I'm going to choose, there's a copy button up here at the top. I'm gonna to choose copy. Then I'm gonna to go to the breadcrumb called book publishing. And I'm gonna click on book publishing. Now I'm gonna create a whole new folder. 
This time, I'm going to create the name of my book. So I'm going to choose New Folder. And the name of the book is going to be The Fox and the Hen. Once I get my name typed in, I hit the Enter key. I can hit the Enter key again because the folder is already highlighted. And then I, instead of me right-clicking and pasting, I could just do Control-V like Victor. So on my keyboard, Control-V. There we go. Now what it did was it actually pasted that document into the folder of the name of the book that I'm writing. The other thing I'm going to do is rename this file because I, it just says six by nine inches. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just click on it one time and the system's going to be like, oh, you want to rename the file just because I clicked in there one time. Or I could right click in there and choose rename. And then I'm going to make my mouse pointer go like right after the, the N and inch. And then because I want to keep the six by nine inch in there so that I'll know that this is the book size that I'm using. And then I'm going to name the fox and the hen. OK, so you got that. So once I get the name in there, hit the enter key so that I can now lock the name in. And now we are ready to start working with this manuscript. OK, now you're ready for the next step. Be sure to visit my video on how to format a book using the KDP template. In fact, the link to that video is in the description. All right now, I hope you enjoyed these tips and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh.